It's been a crazy week with all the content that we've been getting for College Football 25, and today we're taking a deep dive into sights and sounds. Let's get into it. EA just released their Sights and Sounds trailer for College Football 25 along with their deep dive blog. EA has always been huge in incorporating the authentic feel of the game and College Football 25 is nothing short of that. As always, there's a ton of information that comes from these trailers and these deep dive blogs, but I just want to focus on a few that stuck out to me the most and that I'm looking forward to within the game. So the first one on that list is going to be the turnover traditions, the new era. Not only do we have the classic school traditions in the game, but the new era of traditions including turnover and touchdown props made it into the game as well. All these actions take place during gameplay and examples of what you might see are chainsaws, championship belts, basketball hoops, and even a throne. A throne, yes. That's kind of crazy that we're actually going to see a chainsaw in the game. I know this was sort of a big deal when the University of Miami came out with the turnover chain. You started to see a lot of other teams sort of come up with their prop. I think it one point Florida State had like a secure the bag and it was like a Louis Vuitton bag so that's awesome that we're gonna see that in the game Dynamic audience. I really like this one because winning and losing is going to be very, very important. So within this, they have a really cool example within Dynasty mode with FIU. It says during the first couple of games, the stands were not very full, which resulted in a low home field advantage stadium pulse. Once he landed a big win on the road at Indiana and the team record was 7-0, the stands were becoming more full to start the game. By the end of the season, with the 10-1 record and finishing in the top 25 rankings, Home games would result in sellout crowds and a home field advantage pulse meter was now rocking high on the way to the conference championship game. That is huge. So say that you don't really have a lot of fans in the stands early on in the season. They don't really have a lot of faith in you. Matter of fact, they just don't even want to pay the money to go and see you. You start winning games on the road. You're going to start seeing fans start filling up those seats in the stadium as the season progresses. So if you're on a way to a playoff game, or if you've got a record like 10 and one, there's a very good possibility you could sell out. I like that new feature. I think that feature is cool. So winning is gonna be very, very important. If you don't have a very good football team and you're constantly losing, chances are that stadium is gonna be pretty empty. So I think this last one here out of the ones that I really liked the most were Pip and Game Flow. Presentation is not just about visuals and audio, but how the game flows and feels from play to play. We have built a whole new look and feel to the game that takes our authentic atmosphere and pageantry wrapped into our new streamlined Pip dynamic play calling experience. We tested dozens of layout variations throughout the year until we hit the right one. In this new streamlined experience, you won't miss a beat of action. And you'll be informed on important information pertaining to the situation in game. Once the play is finished, the screen shrinks to the top left corner as replays and pageantry continues to show. You can start navigating to the playbook while also viewing important updates and formative data in the top right corner. So they've also got a list here of some of the different informational panels that you'll see. So stat compares, today's season career versus last week versus the opponent, impact players, who they are, why they're impact players, showing their abilities, ranking top players from around the countries in touchdowns, rushing yards, etc. Rankings in terms of conference, media and coaches polls, and potential playoff brackets of course the wear and tear, field goal kicker range, and much more. They've got over 400 panels in each game. It's gonna feel new and fresh. So this doesn't come as a surprise to me. And also, this really just goes to show how much work they're putting into the game. You know, I can't help but go back to the conversation that people have feeling like this is going to be a Madden reskin. And if this just goes to show that, no, this is not going to be a Madden reskin. This is a completely different team. This is an entirely different initiative. And I think we're going to get an experience that we've never gotten before. It's been a fantastic week with college football content. Yesterday, we got toughest places to play. Today, we got sights and sounds deep dive. On the 27th, we're getting top offenses and top defenses. And on the 28th, we're getting overall team power rankings. It's just filled with college football 25 news this week, and I love it. This is going to be a completely different game from Madden. I just can't say it enough. If you like today's video, make sure that you hit that like button as well as that subscribe button. Your girl's trying so, so hard to get 500 subscribers before Madden 25 comes out. And I know with all the love and support that you guys will give me, we'll be able to get there in no time. That's all I got for this one. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.